Thank you, Madam Speaker. Colleagues, uh, 42 years ago, the 1971 legislature enacted the nation's first bottle bill. Today, that act still delivers what it was intended to do, which is reduce litter on Oregon's beaches and roads and reuse valuable commodities like aluminum and plastic. In 2007, the legislature added water and flavored water products to the list of beverage containers with a redemption value, the first such enhancement to the bottle bill since its passage. In 2011, the legislature passed House Bill 3145, another landmark overhaul when it mandated the addition of more beverages such as juices, teas, and sports drinks by no later than 2018 and decided to increase the redemption value of those product containers to 10 cents by no earlier than 2017 if the redemption rate is less than 80 percent for two consecutive years. To accommodate these two new mandates, the Northwest Grocery Association and the Oregon Beverage Recycling Cooperative joined forces to replace grocery store redemption with freestanding container redemption centers to be located throughout the state of Oregon. When the first two redemption, small redemption centers in Wood Village and one in Oregon City have proved so overwhelmingly popular, the OBRC and the grocers then gained legislative approval in 2011 from all of us to open another new and larger pilot center right here in Salem to test whether larger zones would be as accepted and convenient as the first two. What's amazing to note is that of these three redemption centers that currently are up and running in the state of Oregon, 7% of the state's recyclables are taken in in these three locations. Because of the overwhelming success of the Salem Redemption Center, Senate Bill 117A removes the pilot project designation and authorizes the OLCC, which is responsible for bottle bill oversight, to approve new redemption centers based on the successful pilot product. What's in view here, colleagues, is the build out or the implementation of as many as 45 to 50 more of these large scale redemption centers across the state of Oregon that should be accessible for Oregonians uh, throughout our, our fair state. And what the bill does is that the bill establishes two convenient zones, the first having a radius of not more than two miles around the center of the redemption, location of the redemption center, and the second zone not more than three and a half miles around the center. Participating grocery retailers within the first zone will no longer be required to redeem containers at their stores. Participating retailers in the second zone then must accept a reduced amount of containers per day. Colleagues, I don't know if you have had the experience that I've had, but if you've gone to your neighborhood store to uh, take back your cans and bottles and so forth uh, with all good intent, but sometimes you see the line that's wrapped around the block or you see the uh, quality or lack thereof or can, <laughs> let's just say not good hygiene in these locations as well, you uh, give it a second thought sometimes and you're deterred from doing that. The whole point here is to take that uh, kind of messy uh, interaction out of the grocery store environment, put it into a separate environment where all they do is count bottles, cans, and so forth. And uh, as you, I think you can all agree that this would be a wonderful addition to our recycling uh, centers. Um, I do think it's, I don't know how many of you have had a chance to visit one of these, but it's really, they're designed to be so user friendly. Uh, you can get up signed up electronically, you can get a little uh, barcode that has your name and your contact information on it. You get a bag or a container that you put your recyclables into, you drive up to the store or to the center, you drop off your stuff, they take it, they process it, they count it, and then they can credit you with the redemption value on a debit card, on a in-store credit card. You can even have those proceeds redirected to the charity or nonprofit of your choice. It's very user-friendly, it's very interactive, and colleagues, I really think this is what's necessary to take our bottle redemption program to the next level. It's all completely private sector funded. This is not a government-run program. Uh, it's, 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 uh, the stores are saying, we want to get this out of the stores. We're going to pay for it. We're going to make it happen. And colleagues, I would urge your support of Senate Bill 117A. Thank you, Madam Speaker.